you doing today welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another reaction video if you are new here for the very first time my name is TMR and over here sis we talk reactions and reviews what's goody everyone I'm glad to have you click on this channel today happy Saturday to everyone and now that I have your attention sis Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. And since most definitely make sure you click that notification bell. Because they do go hand in hand. So every time I drop a new video, sis, you'll be the first one to know it. What's going on, everyone? Considering the circumstances, I hope everybody is doing okay. Me and my family are doing well. And y'all, we're going to talk really quick. We're going to get some talk a little bit about what we've been talking about for the past couple of days what everybody in our country is talking about right now um i had to drop my son off really quick y'all because he's gotten cabin fever child he only been home for a day but he's gotten cabin fever and his friend lives in an apartment complex that has like a real big gym like the ymca and he was like mom can you take me over to my buddy's house they're playing gym over there everybody's everybody's over there playing ball not playing gym, but he said, he said, everybody's over there playing ball. I was like, okay, you know, I said, I'm gonna let you go over there for a couple hours. And then, um, it's probably like about 15 kids over there. And I talked to the, um, the dad who owns the, the gym and he was like, yeah, it's cool. You know? So I told him, I said, when you done call me so I can come pick you up. I said, but trust and believe I can't do this every day. Um, you know, <coughs> uh, my son plays travel league basketball and y'all they have canceled all the games he was really bummed about that because he was supposed to travel out of town this weekend um to kentucky for a game and um he wasn't able to do that so y'all he was really bummed about that but like i told him i said baby this we're in a state of emergency so you got to understand it and speaking of state of emergency y'all tr donald trump came on today and addressed the people about the things himself and his party have implemented to help us do this time of crisis. Um, if you haven't got a chance to watch that, I would advise you to go, you know, search that um, that speech on the internet or on YouTube. And basically, they're they're implementing a lot of um, reliefs for for our people, especially for hardest hit. Um, they're extending um, tax. Uh, taxes, you know, uh, most people, if you have, if you owe taxes, you have to have that um, relief bill or have it filed by April the 15th. They're extending that date. They're putting a halt on um, interest on federal student loans. Um, there was a bill that was enacted to cut like 700 people, 700,000, excuse me, 700,000 people off of food stamps. Um, that has been. <clears throat> extended that's not going to happen right now um they also have implemented um um uh, so is it sick pay i think they said for um workers y'all it's just a lot of different reliefs that they are um helping the american people with also make sure you check with your utility companies in your cities okay because in my city you guys i've seen on um, my google feed that the water company the light company and the gas company here have all stopped people with disconnect notices like if you have a disconnect notice for to tomorrow or monday or whatever they have halted all those until april the 15th also if you are a person who um here in my city if if your water I, they said water but if your water was shut off before the 12th that call the water company and they will come cut your water back on i mean now who i i'm, I'm pretty sure everybody paying their utilities and they're not sitting around with disconnect notices but there are some that are okay um so if you are a person in that situation and you scared that you don't want your utilities cut off during this crisis, call your utility company Monday, sis, 
and and see if they have the same plan going on in your city and state they most definitely do here in mine Y'all, because this, you know, we, we're, we're in a situation, like I said to you guys the other day, this is a pan pandemic um, that is, it's crippling, our, it's crippling the world, not just our country, other countries too, you guys. But what I will say, you guys, and this too shall pass. Like, I, I, I have the, um, I trust and believe that, okay? This too shall pass. You know, people are as you as you heard on the news, and if you've been had a chance to go to the store, y'all, people are in these stores. Honey, they clearing shelves. Uh, my son said that he went to all these, and he was like, "Mama, there was literally nothing on the shelves at all these." I was like, "What?" Yes, he said, "Mama, it was literally nothing on the shelves." And I was just like, oh my God, wow. You know, and um, I was speaking to a friend of mine and, you know, she has said, you know, y'all, you know, this reminds me of, you know, when we have those winter storms or hurricanes and people go and they clear the shelves in the stores. And I was like, yeah, it's a similar, it's a similar situation, but this is more, you know, this is more in depth because it's not just, you know, threatening a city or a, uh, or a state y'all it's affecting the world you know so speaking about that you guys i saw on um on twitter today that there were some people who were getting upset in these stores y'all um in brooklyn there was a costco where people got to arguing in the lines y'all they almost got to fighting in the lines at a costco in brooklyn and i'm gonna show y'all a little bit of that right here Did y'all hear what my man said? He said, as a human being, can we please just come together? You know, at the end of the day, y'all, we all need stuff for our homes. So there's no need to be fussing and fighting. If it ain't on the shelf today, it most definitely should be there by Monday. You know, if they got to restock over the weekend. Um, so, you know, a lot of people got money right now because they just got income taxes a couple weeks ago. People got you know, have they gotten their food stamps probably in the last week or two. So people are out shopping, you know. Um, there was also an incident at a Sam's Club in Hiram, Georgia. Now, um, these this situation, they're saying it's not coronavirus related, although that was the rumor at first, but they're telling people, no, that's not true. So I'm going to show you guys this right quick. Y'all see that? Yes, honey. They uh they these two men went for the went for wine bottles on the shelves and started busting each other upside the head. They said it started from one of the guys' cart bumped another cart. And, you know, and you know, people are already on edge and you know, anxiety and feeling some type of way about what's going on because they're not sure, they're unsure of what the future is gonna um hold. So a lot of people are panicking all right so yes y'all they got the fighting in the uh in the in the what was that sam's club and i'm just thinking to myself my god y'all calm down like calm down and you know what y'all this brings me to my next conversation you know everybody's running out you know uh stores don't have toilet paper and paper towel and hand sanitizer and bleach and everything you know but here's the thing I do understand this is a crisis that our country is going through and people are trying to 
be prepared but this if this doesn't teach you anything it should teach you to always stay prepared you know you guys i if you uh, watch my channel get in the kitchen with tasha or if you watched been watching me you know since i came on last year if you one of my my oldies with goodies you know i do grocery hauls and when i do grocery hauls y'all I, I i stocks up i've just always been like that since i've been a mother of four children it was just always in my mind to always have a you know a surplus of food on hand in the event that anything could happen not just you know a pandemic in our country but it, it might be a situation where i can't you know i can't work or i don't have any money but if we can't do anything else we gonna make sure we eat and we wash our tails okay we gonna make sure we do that so you guys a couple years ago i was couponing very very heavy so i had a surplus of stuff god when i tell you i had so much stuff in my house it was ridiculous like uh, dishwashing liquid, um, uh, washing powder, soap, just all kind of stuff, y'all. Now, that was like almost three years ago. So, of course, over the time, my, my surplus has tapered down. And I still have like laundry detergent. I got a few things of bleach left. But I, I have tons of soap still because I had squeeze soap and I also had hand soap. I have tons and tons of Dial, which I was like, thank God, because, you know, Dial is an antibacterial soap. And I'm be I, quite honest with you, instead of hand sanitizer, I'd rather for the people in my house to wash their hands with a bar of soap. Okay. Um, so I had that. Now, I will tell you, I do need to go get some more paper towels and toilet paper because that's something I don't have a lot of. Because um, when I was a foster parent, you and when I started fostering, that's when I really got into couponing because I always wanted to make sure I had enough stuff in my house and I didn't run out of things. So, you know, like I said, you guys, if this doesn't do anything, it should just show people that they need to always stay prepared, right? That we shouldn't be going in stores clearing things off the shelves because, you know, I just think if you're a, a family, you should have a deep freezer in your home. If you don't have a deep freezer, you, I mean, they're not expensive. They were like $150 at Walmart or Sam's Club. They're not really expensive. Invest in you a deep freezer. Um, meats and stuff can stay in a deep freezer. Um, some meats is like up to six months to a year. Will stay, um, you know, <clears throat> will stay good. And even if it's after expiration day for the meat, it's still good as long as it's frozen. So, um, yeah, just, you know, you guys, all I can say is if you have the means to get out there and get the things that you need, make sure you do that. Um, for people who just got their income taxes, baby, if you, if you have not blew through all that money by now, make sure you hold on to you a few dollars, sis. So you can have your emergency fund. Again, y'all, this is something else to prepare us. A lot of us don't have emergency fund situation, especially for people who don't have credit cards. Like, if even if you got credit cards, you most definitely always need to have you some cash on hand, you know? If this doesn't teach people anything else, it should teach people to be prepared for whatever and to stay be stay being prepared, right? Because you never know what might happen. So... Um, yeah, you guys, I just wanted to come to y'all and, and we talk a little bit. Cause like I said, you guys over here, we, yeah, we can, we can gossip about the three moms and stuff like that. But then we also have to talk about things that affect us as a community, right? I, I feel like that's important because you guys, I, I'm a, I live in this world too. And there's things that affect you that can affect me or does affect me. And I think it's just important that we discuss that type of stuff. You know, we can always talk about the shits all the time but we most definitely need to talk about real stuff that we all can relate to um also, something else i wanted to bring to you guys attention to uh amidst amongst this coronavirus um situation you know a lot of people are looking for jobs right now yeah so of course you guys this has put a strain on job search because a lot of companies have suspended um in the face interviews so a lot of companies are going to um video interviewing yes and if you are a person who are not really familiar with skype or facetime or something like that or not really familiar with the technique of interviewing 
via video, I would advise you to go Google search that. And if you are looking for a job right now amongst what's going on, still keep looking for that job because I, I guarantee you, you guys you know it's going to take a while for our company depending on what happens it's going to take a while not our company y'all it's going to take a while for our country to build back up but best believe we will we will rebound just like when we had the recession back in what was that 2008 when we had the recession and the, and the housing um crisis when when the uh, mortgage um giants sally may and freddie mac unfolded and the government had to come bail them out y'all we rebuild from that when um when 911 happened and and that was a financial crisis to a lot of companies we rebounded from that so we are going to rebound from this coronavirus you know you just we just living through the storm but you know like i would like to ensure each and every person just like it rains the sun will come out Okay, so keep that in your in your forefront as you're going through preparing yourself to what might happen. Just keep in the forefront that this too shall pass. Okay, all right, sis. All right. Um. So, what else are we gonna talk about real quick? Okay, you guys. So let's talk about this really quick. So I saw yesterday Olivia went live. Y'all, she was going alive a lot yesterday. She wasn't doing long lives. She was doing like 20 minute lives, you know. She did one live where it was titled something about Gerard's family. Do she, do Gerard still talk to his family? Of course, Gerard does talk to his, you know, family, his, his brother, his sisters, um, his mother, dad, grandmother, aunts, cousins. She said, yeah, he talks to everybody. Um, but she's, you know, she said, I don't know what makes y'all think that he doesn't talk to his family. I'm thinking to myself, well, um, sweetheart, um, the way you came on here and clowned with one of his family members. Now, I do get that you say that that's not his biological family member, but however, whatever, obviously, um, Gerard felt enough of her to call her his sis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and, you know, at one time, that unbiological uh, sibling that you say, you know, the one you said that that's not biologically related, at one time, you guys were being helped by that unbiological sibling, you know? So it's just funny how when people get themselves in a position where they feel like they don't need nobody, how they will shit on people in the process. And I, I, I don't like that. You know, don't, like at the end of the day, don't, don't forget that the same bridge you went over, you might have to go under. Okay? So never forget that. Never forget that. So, um, also you guys, she talked about um, she has a lash line coming out and I was like, okay, well, that's good. Like I'm all for people and, you know, trying to get that bag. I'm like, that's real good, sis. I hope that works out for you. She said that, uh, she's going to have a casting cause she wants some, some faces to, uh, model her eyelashes. Now I will say this, Olivia should be really careful with that because she do know that, you know, a lot of people on YouTube don't care for her. So you might want to be really careful with your screening process to make sure you get the right candidates that's going to do right by you in your eyelash line, you know. But, I, you know, I congratulate her on that. Um, I congratulate anybody on that. So for time, talk to Kels if you watch her. She also is getting ready to have an eyelash um, line coming out. So I'm like, y'all, get your bag, sis. You know, at the end of the day, you guys, we all need to be entrepreneurs in some type of sense you know you need something that you can call the shots on so you know there's a lot of people that have you know eyelash line makeup line hairline skincare lines you know it's all type of things that you can do with yourself you got that talent you know so i i would encourage anybody if you are um inspiring to do something entrepreneurial like to do it you know don't don't let don't let certain things keep you from striving from the things that you want. A lot of people just feel like they don't they don't have the means to do it, financial means. But what I will encourage people to do is to look up grants and stuff. Now I will say this, you guys, wait till this coronavirus thing spills over and see how, you know, how it affects the country, you know, financially. And then, you know, look into doing things like that, you know, to better influence 
your situation. So, um, okay, y'all. And then she did another live. She went on live. Um, Yanni Bonnie B. If you guys watch Yanni Bonnie B, Yanni Bonnie B did a live yesterday. Y'all know Yanni Bonnie B just had a baby. Congratulations, Yanni, on your on your birth, sis. Um, but she did a live. And um, I guess, y'all, I missed the live. Um and I came in on the very tail end, like she was closing it down. But I guess um Mean was in the live talking to Yanni. If you guys know Mean, she's um she was one of the girls that went on the girl trip with um Olivia and them. And she was in the live, and I guess she was asking Yanni questions or something like that. I don't know, y'all. Y'all have to go. I think that live, Yanni's live is still up, so you have to go over there and check it out. Well, in the mix of Yanni talking to Ming in her live, in Yanni's live, Olivia came into the live. So I guess they had some words. Um, Yanni and Olivia had some words, and of course, Yanni blocked Olivia. So then Olivia took to her platform and subliminally was talking about Yanni, you know, and um, she had made reference to the fact that I don't know, I guess she was saying something about you know, Yanni had a child out of wedlock, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, sis, so did you? <laughs> like, you had you had three kids out of wedlock and two uh, uh, miscarriages. So yes, yeah, sis. I mean, you. I mean, like you can't really throw dots at her for that, cause you you went through the same thing. Like you married now, but you wasn't there when you was having those kids. So I didn't understand why she said that. But you know what? I'm just sitting up here like you say you're not bothered. You know, one thing you cannot stop is you can't stop people from talking about you. You know, they. Dang. They talked about Jesus Christ. So, sis, you most definitely can't feel like you better than Jesus and ain't nobody going to speak on you. You know, so people, if, you know, people are sitting in a live chat somewhere and they're just conversating. They're having girl talk and they're just talking about the things. I know Olivia doesn't want people saying nasty, negative things about her because, of course, who would want that? Nobody wants that. But at the end of the day, you can't control other people's conversation. As much as you keep saying, stop talking about me. Um, yeah, people are probably not gonna stop, you know, um, especially if you keep pulling the shenanigans that you pull on your channel. Like, I, to me, I would think that's what you want people to do, because if you didn't want people to talk about certain things, you wouldn't put certain things out there into the atmosphere. Now, that's just my thought. Y'all could be totally wrong. Most definitely let me know what you think down in the comments. But I was just like, well, sis, I mean, you know, you can't stop that girl from talking. That's her mouth. You know what I'm saying? You can't stop her from saying what she want to say. So, um, you know what? Yeah, I'm so confused. So anyway, so that was that conversation. Um, so I just, you know, Liv wasn't on that live very long. Y'all watched like the first five minutes of the live and then I jumped on off because she wasn't really tired. I'm like, it's the same thing over and over and over. You know, at the end of the day, I would think everybody would get tired, you know. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I, you know, I, I was just like, girl, okay, well, um, obviously you don't like the fact that Yanni has mentioned you. Um, and Yanni don't like the fact that you mentioned her. Okay, well, let's just agree to the fact that you two don't care for each other. And guess what? Everybody go on to their regular schedule program. You're like, you go do what you do over there and let me do what I do over here. Because trust and believe, whatever Yanni has to say on her channel, it's not going to stop Olivia's bag. And whatever whatever Olivia has to say on her channel, it's most definitely not going to stop Yanni's bag. So I don't understand what the, what the problem is. You know, I really don't. But anyway, um... So, I don't know. But y'all, did y'all see what happened the other day with Blama and Tommy? Is it Sotomayor? Your child? I was like, what the world? I could not believe all that was going on. And, girl, when I tell you that man, oh, my God. The way he talks about women is so disrespectful. But, again, that's his mouth. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't consume his content, so I, you know, what he, he, hell, he could be over there talking about me. I, yeah, unless somebody come tell me, child, I won't know. But I, what I will say to Blama, 
Um, of course, again, she's grown and she can do most definitely what she want to do. But if I was her, I would stay away from that man. Because obviously, girl, that man seems like he's a nut. And I wouldn't dare be over there entertaining him and his chat. Unless... Blama just wants that type of attention. If you want that type of negative attention, then yeah, well then sis, keep going over there talking in this chat and bothering that man and letting him, you know, drag you for two hours if that's what you want to do, sis. But if I was you, I would, I, me personally, child, I would stay from over there, you know, and let that man do whatever he been doing, okay? Whoever he chooses to talk about on his platform, let him, okay? Just as long as he wouldn't have my name in his mouth. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. And I'm going to get off of here, y'all, because I'm going around in circles like I'm lost. And, and, and I need to um, I need to go get me some K-Cups, y'all. I've been to one store and they didn't have any K-Cups. So I'm going to go to another grocery store to see if they got any K-Cups. Because I'm thinking to myself, that's my crisis, sis. I need my coffee. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. And I will see y'all in the next video. Until I see you then, make sure you... Sub what you love. Bye-bye.